you want to hear this? I went through 200 poems to figure out what I could share with you tonight along the theme of lusting love. Okay. Um, uh, ah, there is a new poem. Infidelity. Third draft. You know what it's like to go down to the laundry room and open the dryer and find out the socks are not there. <laughs> so before I do this, I want to share with you the fact that on April 7th in the Pike Street Library and in April 8th here at Colorado College, the poetry of Carl Chamber is going to be celebrated. And I hope my good friend David Marcus is going to recite 10 or 20. Infidelity. Socks. In his hand, a bag of socks. Yes, maples. Yes, gray wool wood socks. Gold toed red socks. Sport socks. Where did their mates disappear to? Under the bed, puffs of dust? Yep. Snug under the washing and agitated spindle? No. Stuck to the roof of the dryer? You bet. Ah, sandwiched between the clean folded t shirts. No, no. Where, oh, where are these things? Don't they hear the whimpering and whining of their soulmates? <laughs> but whatever reason, want of more space or a slower or faster pace? Maybe a diamond argyle partner or a new stand-up stretcher? <laughs> they're both not resort? Whatever, they're gone. Run, walk, cross. Look, you know, they are surely unfaithful men. The height of both are in itself. A romance of stars. Yes, the jury is in. But what did he do with the Then what to do with unmade men? The garbage can? He can almost hear them weeping. I'm so lonely. <laughs> so I club randomly pulled that sock, two by two, pulled them together, made it for life. 